We hope you enjoyed our first captivating video exploring the diverse feeding mechanisms in the animal kingdom. If you haven't watched it yet, be sure to check the link to the video in the description for an extraordinary journey into the incredible adaptations that creatures have developed to obtain their food. Now, get ready for another riveting chapter as we delve deeper into mechanisms of feeding in some animals in this edition, we'll be uncovering even more remarkable strategies employed by various species to satisfy their dietary needs and thrive in their natural habitats. If you find our videos fascinating and educational, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share the knowledge with your friends, family, and fellow science enthusiasts by sharing this video on your social media. For more in-depth information and exciting content, check out the full article on our blog. Check the description below for the link to the blog post. There, you'll find a treasure trove of scientific wonders waiting to be explored. Mechanisms of Feeding in Some Animal These diverse feeding mechanisms showcase the incredible adaptations and strategies that animals have evolved to secure their sustenance. From absorbing nutrients from the environment to employing intricate structures for biting, chewing, sucking, and grinding, each mechanism represents an essential aspect of an animal's dietary habits and ecological role. Absorbing mechanisms, sponges and filter feeders, Sponges represent some of the most primitive animals, using a unique feeding mechanism known as filter feeding. These sessile creatures filter particles from the water, trapping microscopic organisms to consume. Other filter feeding animals include baleen whales, oysters, and mussels. These aquatic marvels demonstrate the remarkable efficiency of absorbing nutrients from their surroundings. Characteristics Primarily found in filter feeding animals and certain aquatic organisms involves the utilization of specialized structures such as sponges and gills to absorb nutrients from the surrounding environment, efficiently captures and processes small particles, including plankton and organic matter, from water or air. Commonly, observed in sessile or slow-moving animals that rely on currents to bring food particles within reach plays a vital role in nutrient recycling and maintaining ecological balance in aquatic ecosystems. Biting and Chewing Mechanisms Masters of mastication herbivores and omnivores rely on biting and chewing mechanisms to break down plant material and prey. Herbivorous Animals such as cows and horses, have well-developed molars and strong jaw muscles, allowing them to grind fibrous plant matter efficiently. Omnivores like bears and raccoons have sharp teeth for tearing flesh and broad molars for grinding plants, displaying incredible dietary versatility. Characteristics 
predominant in herbivorous and omnivorous animals that consume plant material and prey. Characterized by well-developed teeth, particularly molars and incisors, to break down food into smaller, more manageable pieces. Enables efficient mastication of tough plant materials to extract nutrients and digestible components. Adaptations in jaw structure and muscles facilitate powerful biting and chewing actions. Allows for the utilization of a wide variety of food sources, showcasing dietary versatility in omnivores. Sucking mechanisms. The elegance of suction sucking mechanisms have evolved in various animals to draw in fluids or soft tissues. For instance, butterflies employ proboscises to sip nectar from flowers, while hummingbirds use their specialized tongues to extract nectar from deep within blossoms. Mosquitoes showcase the precision of sucking mechanisms, utilizing their needle-like mouth parts to extract blood from hosts. Characteristics typically employed by insects and certain vertebrates to draw in fluids or soft tissues from their food sources involves specialized mouth parts, such as proboscises or elongated tongues, for sipping nectar or extracting fluids. Mosquitoes and other blood-feeding insects possess needle-like mouth parts to pierce the skin of hosts and feed on blood. Nectar feeding animals like hummingbirds and butterflies use long tongues to reach deep into flower blossoms and excess nectar. Enables animals to obtain essential nutrients from specific food sources, particularly fluids and liquids. Grinding mechanisms Adapting to herbivorous diets herbivores have developed specialized grinding mechanisms to process plant material, effectively. Rodents, with their ever-growing incisors, continually gnaw on plants to maintain their dental health. Giant pandas possess robust jaw muscles to crush bamboo, their primary food source, showcasing an impressive adaptation to their herbivorous diet. Characteristics, predominantly observed in herbivorous animals with a diet primarily consisting of plant material involves well-developed molars and jaw muscles, specifically adapted for grinding and crushing fibrous plant matter. Facilitates efficient breakdown of tough plant cell walls, enhancing nutrient extraction from plant-based diets. Seen in animals like rodents and herbivorous mammals, which possess continuously growing incisors to cope with wear from grinding. Reflects an evolutionary adaptation to cope with the challenges of processing plant-based foods. Trapping and absorbing mechanisms, carnivorous strategies carnivorous plants, such as the Venus flytrap and pitcher plants, have evolved ingenious mechanisms to trap and absorb nutrients from insects. The Venus flytrap's modified leaves snap shut when triggered by prey, and the pitcher plant lures insects into its pitcher-shaped leaves, filled with digestive fluids. 
These fascinating adaptations allow these plants to supplement their nutrient intake from the nitrogen-deficient soils they inhabit. Characteristics Commonly found in carnivorous plants that supplement their nutrient intake by trapping and absorbing insects and small animals. Carnivorous plants like the Venus flytrap and pitcher plants possess specialized structures, such as modified leaves and pitcher-shaped traps, to capture prey. Traps are equipped with digestive fluids that help break down the captured prey, releasing essential nutrients for absorption allows these plants to thrive in nutrient-poor soils, where they supplement their diet with the nutrients derived from trapped prey. Demonstrates unique and sophisticated adaptations among plants, reflecting their evolutionary response to nutrient limitations. Fluid feeding Fluid feeding is a feeding mechanism observed in various organisms, particularly in insects and some other invertebrates. Unlike animals that bite, chew, or filter their food, fluid feeders directly consume liquids or semi-liquids as their primary source of nutrition. This feeding strategy allows them to obtain essential nutrients, such as sugars, amino acids, vitamins, and minerals, from fluid substances like nectar, plant sap, blood, or other bodily fluids. The main Characteristics of fluid feeders are their specialized mouth parts, which are adapted to facilitate the consumption of liquids. These mouth parts vary depending on the type of fluid they feed on, but they generally fall into three categories. Sponging mouth parts, insects like butterflies, moths, and houseflies possess sponging mouthparts. Their mouthparts consist of soft, flexible structures designed to soak up liquids. These insects typically feed on nectar, fruit juices, or other sugary solutions. When feeding, they extend their sponging mouthparts often called proboscis or labium, into the liquid source, allowing them to draw up the fluid. Piercing sucking mouth parts, some insects, such as mosquitoes and aphids, have piercing sucking mouth parts. Their mouth parts are elongated, needle-like structures that can penetrate plant tissues, animal skin, or other substrates to access fluids. For instance, mosquitoes use their specialized mouth parts to pierce the skin of hosts, like humans or animals, and feed on blood, which provides them with essential nutrients for reproduction and development. Sucking mouth parts, certain insects, like butterflies in their caterpillar stage and bees, have sucking mouth parts. Their mouth parts function like straws, allowing them to draw liquid substances directly from sources like flowers or fruits. Butterflies, for example, use their sucking mouth. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary exploration of feeding mechanisms in the animal kingdom. We have covered fascinating feeding strategies, 
from fluid feeders with sponging mouth parts to carnivorous plants employing trapping and absorbing mechanisms. But our journey doesn't end here. In the upcoming episodes, we will delve into the mesmerizing world of mechanisms of feeding in some remarkable animals. From filter feeding in aquatic creatures to specialized dentition in herbivores, we will uncover even more intriguing adaptations. For more in-depth information on these captivating topics, be sure to check out the link to the full article in the description below. There, you'll find a wealth of knowledge and visuals that complement this video, allowing you to further immerse yourself in the wonders of the animal kingdom. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming episodes. Join us as we continue our journey through the fascinating world of feeding mechanisms in the animal kingdom. Thank you for being a part of this incredible adventure, and we'll see you 